Hi guys, my name is Karthik and I'm from executeautomation.com and welcome to Raspberry Pi video series. And in this video, we'll be talking about connecting Raspberry Pi with SSH. So let's do a quick recap before we move further. So far in this video series, we have completed understanding Raspberry Pi, unboxing Raspberry Pi and installing an operating system on Raspberry Pi, which is nothing but Ubuntu Mate 16.04 version. So what is SSH? Well. SSH is nothing but Secure Shell is a Unix based command interface and protocol for securely getting access to a remote computer. And Windows 10 will soon have a native support for SSH using OpenSSH, which is still in developer preview stage, but you can still install and try out that. And you can find it from this link. But in this video series, we are going to use PuTTY or PuTTY, you can call it any other way. So PuTTY is a SSH and Telnet client for Windows platform and it's a open source software which is developed by some group of volunteers and it is very very cool because it's very lightweight and it's I think it's less than 600 KB and you can use to connect your remote Unix operating system which is running in our Raspberry Pi using SSH as well as you can also do Telnet connectivity. As you can see here in the PuTTY we have to give a host name or the IP address of our Raspberry Pi. But as of now, our Raspberry Pi does not have any name, but you can still assign a name for your Raspberry Pi. Rather, we are going to connect with an IP address as well. So how to identify my IP address of Raspberry Pi? Well, this you can do by many different ways, but I am going to use a very, very simple way to connect my Raspberry Pi using my routers configurations and the IP address will most probably be 192.168.1.1 or 192.168.0.1 to connect your router configurations and see what is the IP address of your router and also you can see the list of devices which is connected in your router which is nothing but your wireless router right so let's see this in action so first of all I need to see what is the IP address of my router how can I identify my router so I can do this with this command ipconfig and you can see that my default gateway is actually 192.168.0.1 which is nothing but my routers configuration you can access the router configuration from this so this is your default gateway so what we can do we can just go to the browser and just type http colon double slash 192.168.0.1 and you can see it's bringing me up my router configuration so I'm just gonna go inside this so this page actually has all the configuration required for your router and you can actually see the list of LAN clients which is connected with my router from this option but for sure the screen that you are seeing right now right here is gonna completely change in your case but this is kind of similar in most of the cases so I'm just going to take a generic approach here so you can see that in our previous video we set up our Raspberry Pi using the name KK and this exactly it is so here you can see the host name is KK desktop which is 192.168.0.8 and I think this is the my Raspberry Pi because this is my computer and it has desktop hyphen 6h728 4 hatch which is most probably this computer so you can see this by right clicking the properties and you can see this is the computer name so that's what it is right here so this KK desktop is going to be my Raspberry Pi and I have already switched on my Raspberry Pi I have already connected the Raspberry Pi without any monitor and keyboard and mouse so everything is disconnected it's just a Raspberry Pi connected with a power supply that's it right cool so now I'm gonna access this Raspberry Pi using this IP address and now I need to download the putty just search for putty and it will bring you to the putty.org you can directly go in there and you can download it from here so this putty is going to be less than 600 KB as I already said so you can download that via FTP or right here it will download into your machine right so I'm not going to download it because I have already installed PuTTY in my machine. So this is how the PuTTY going to look like, right? 
So it actually has the host name or the IP address options here. You can enter the IP address here and the default port is 22. So just leave it as it is for SSH. And if you select Telnet, then the port is going to be 23. And if you select our login, it is 513. If it is serial, it is 9600, right? So we are interested in SSH right now. So I'm going to select this guy and the IP address for my Raspberry Pi. As we have already seen, it is 192.168.0.8. And then I'm going to hit open. So for the first time, it will show you a security alert saying that the server's host key is not cached in the registry. So you have no guarantee that the server is a computer you think it is. But of course, we know that this machine is our Raspberry Pi and it still believe this machine. So I'm going to hit yes. And it brings you a login option here. So all you have to do is just log into this machine. Remember in our previous video, we gave the username as KK and the password to access this machine. There we go. So now we are into our Raspberry Pi's operating system, which is nothing but our Ubuntu's mate operating system and you can see that it says welcome to Ubuntu Xenial Zerus I think this is the kernel code version but I'm not pretty sure about that and it has built on the top of Linux 4.4.7 right and you can see that we have logged in so this is how you can connect to your Raspberry Pi's Linux operating system using SSH so in the next video we'll be talking about working with the different basic commands of Linux in much greater way Thank you very much for watching this video and have a great day.